welcome back. Uh, you're with uh, Huey, and uh, thanks for joining us uh, for our continuing series of Battletech Extended Commander's Edition mod. And we're doing the campaign Let's Play, and of course we are playing as Titans Ballers. So in the last episode we finished the uh, story mission Liberation Smithen, and that went a, le a lot more easily than uh, I had anticipated it would. So I thought what we might do this episode is <clears throat> knock over a couple of contracts and then go on to the next story mission in the next episode. So yeah, build up uh, some more XP or well, some more training, I guess you could say, uh, for our mech warriors and uh, yeah, head into the next one. Because the next one is um, in a, I believe a Martian biome. So, uh, maybe getting our guts stats up a little bit for our mech warriors might come in handy. Um, yes, I realize that it is min-maxing, which is a big no-no when it comes to, uh, you know, games that are more geared toward story or RP, but, uh, <coughs> yeah, <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? I mean, we're all guilty of it. A little bit of min-maxing here and there. Um... But, yeah, we still don't have a lot in the way of rare or uncommon uh, weapons or items. Um, so, it is making things very interesting. Although, I will say that the mechs we've got have been really, really good with, uh, for us. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. Now, the, um, I mean, even the Rifleman... Uh, has been performing pretty well. Uh, in fact, the Warhammer, as much of a tank as it is, yeah, we seem to take a lot more hits uh, in the Warhammer uh, than most of the other Macs. Now, you know that wasn't the case, uh, you know, more early on. But I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see how we go. So uh, yeah, we do have to forward the timeline, unfortunately. Ready to go over financials whenever so you financial report. We'll accept that. So we've got seven days. Uh, well, it will be five days till the hydroponic garden is complete, which will give us a nice bonus to our morale. Now, uh, let's just double check. It's been a couple of days since I've played. So, <laughs> yeah, I am uh, pre recording these. So. Um, yeah, do, do be patient. I will reply to everyone, um, but, you know, I will endeavour to reply to you even in the video. Uh, that's right, we didn't have anything that standed out, well, that standed out, stood out too much to us. Maybe the AC-10 triple plus. Because it's got some nice bonuses, uh, plus 50 crit though, I don't know. All right, let's buy it. Why not? Weapon systems available. Uh, don't really have max that we can use it in though. I mean, what do we got here? See these? No, I don't really want those. The extra crit's nice and all, but yeah. Anyway, uh, so double checking our mech warriors, and I uh, don't believe we had anything to spend. No, we did not. So, we may do after the uh, next mission. Speaking of which, let's jump into it. So, so Served Cold is the next uh, next mission. Now, we've got... Uh, we did want to do an Assassinate mission, so I do want to try that one out uh, to begin with. And we're going to go Max Salvage. Now, I doubt we're going to get uh, run into an Assault Mech, but I could be wrong. Now the upside of running into an assault mech is, is salvage opportunities. Downside is uh, it can be rather scary to go up against, depending on the assault mech, of course. If it's something like a Zeus, then it's not too bad. But um, generally, uh, but if it's something like an awesome, <laughs> even an awesome, it can be a, a little bit scary. Same, same with a vector, actually. Um, and I, yeah, tell you the truth, we we do have three vector. Part. So, if we did run into a Victor, we could just core it out and get that one remaining part that we need. So, 
Yeah, that is always an option. <clears throat> so we are after, yeah, Directorate. Um, a Directorate enemy. And, uh, yep, just a typical assassination mission. Commander, this is a bold move by the smugglers, so we have to assume they have more than just a simple token force there. Be prepared for anything. Alright, so that means reinforcements. Translation, reinforcements. Just a fancy uh, way of saying that. Thanks, Darius. <laughs> Almost always means reinforcements, but anyway, let's begin the mission. Command interface initiated. This is the area where the smugglers reportedly set up shop. Until it's just uh, hostile directorate units in the area. Be alert. Now that is a champion. And uh, it had been noted before that they are an interesting looking mech. Let's target us down. Maybe the extraction point for a pickup. You think we'll see bears? I don't know, dude. Shut up. Um, okay, so he's coming in around here. I think reinforcements are going to be coming in up here. So, we'll try and cut them off. Yeah, I think we should... If there are going to be reinforcements, we want to run into those first. Got it. There we go. There they are. Acknowledged. How did I know? If I were planning an ambush, this is where I'd put it. Well, we kind of already triggered the ambush. Uh, luckily, they are ramshackles, so that's uh, that's good for us, I guess. We don't have uh, maybe Decker yes, can. Commander. Okay, so I may lose vision on them. Actually, heading over there would be good, and that'll be direct fire, so, well... Not necessarily, but yeah, let's do it anyway. Pretty good to hit, actually. Herbie. Okay. So we're gonna hit. Uh, try and hit the Obi. Though he is guarded. These little bastards can hurt. Uh, but you know what? They're gonna go for the large lasers. on the Griffin. Only 56%, but... Two hits. Very good. Waiting for orders. So, yeah, we do have the Archer. Now, the Archer could really wreck this guy's day, so... On my way. Let's go ahead and do that. PC crit. More, huh? And he's panicked, so he may act next, yep. Very good. Uh, Lord Ducky. What can I do for you? Yes, I must thank this guy for uh, stepping into the line of fire. Vehicles, okay. Interesting. What's up, boss? Next, we have a Decker up first. 
Um, I think I want to do a multi-target, honestly. Moving out. Oh, I can't. I always forget Decker can't do that. But that's okay. Let's wreck this guy. Affirmative. Target eliminated. So, Waiting on you, Commander. Lord Decky. See what you can do. There's more where that came Still from. Still got the AC ten line, which I'm not particularly happy about, but we do have Titan. I saw there was a yeah, there is an option there. From that distance, 61%. Mm. Let's see what other options do we have. That's about it. So let's take it, I guess. <clears throat> do we want to use a precision strike? I don't know. I'd say we do, actually. Would it be overkill? Possibly. But let's do it anyway. <clears throat> Every little bit helps. I hear ya. Do that indirect fire. Coordinates received. Should be enough. Oh, that should be plenty. And stay down. So they have lost vision on us. So let's say we're gonna reserve. Yeah, Decker can hold out. I'm going to reserve again. Okay. Ready for orders. Decker cannot get vision. Uh, I think we should do a sensor lock though on this vehicle. <clears throat> All I can really do, and hmm. yeah, let's do it. Sensor lock on target. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's put the archer in there. I read you, Commander. Moving out. And he's gone. Smoke them. Standing by. Oh, we have a seventy tonner. Oof. Okay. I hear you. Hmm. Receiving you. What is that? <clears throat> well, let's find out. That is a grasshopper. Hey, okay. I'm going to brace. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's sprint 
little decky up the front line. Going turbo. If I could have a grasshopper, I'd be a very happy man. It's a stinger. Okay. We are going to reserve. Alright, here goes nothing. Is there a range for a close up shot? Unfortunately. But, let's try it. Two leg hits. Might have to go for another leg hit, actually. I think that would be prudent. Well, it screws that. We're going to have a lot of splash damage here. But, <clears throat> we can still try it, because we do have Lord Daki as a backup. So 61% on the leg. Let's do it. Question is, can we get one of these to hit? Uh, 18%? Ugh. 29%? Uh, I think we just go for a regular attack. Hope for the best. Special delivery. Okay. Wasn't bad. Come in with the archer. Uh -huh. I'm steady. Good. Fortunately, we were in cover. Stinger trying to come around. Make sure that doesn't work out too well for him. Okay. So we are going to try a head hit. I am going to try it. Who knows? May get lucky. Maybe not. Vulcan. Commander. Should be getting close. Oh, that's a bit of a... Alright. If we're going to do it, though, we do it from there. And, actually... We would Go like that. Got it. Do something like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks like that's going to be the option. Copy that. Overkill. <laughs> Target neutralized. Yeah, Crusade is a beast. Absolute beast. Good to go. All right. Well, unfortunate, but you betcha. That's uh, okay. So that is the ah, oh, it's a vehicle. Okay. I hear you. Oh, I have to take care of you. Oh, 
Unfortunately, yeah, we'll leave my back open. But we will turn around slightly. See what we can do here. Very good. You like that? That was lucky. Ha! <clears throat> Send me a real opponent. How about a real actor? Uh Orders? Not great chances to hit. Copy that. But a chance nonetheless, so we'll take it. Good. That's good news. Got some good evasion there, so that's fortunate. Very, for very, very fortunate. Okay. Let's get rid of this little bastard. Excellent. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, Decky comes, makes his return. Got it. Oh, we got one hit in there. Don't make him stressed out a bit. I hear ya. Oh, why not? Okay, the escorts. Gotcha. All right, I think we head up this side. On my way. Position confirmed. I do love the cold biome. That's really helping us right now. Not gonna have that luxury uh, forever, but I'll take it. Moving out. Let's see, a sewer reserve. Let's see what he does. Yes, that is a champion. As I suspected. Uh, you know what? I think we need to do a sprint move. And then hit him with everything we've got next turn. I hear ya. Waiting you know for orders. Gonna sprint. No. What can I do for you? Thought he could maybe go down there, but he can't. All right. Another sprint move. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. What can I do for you? All right, glitch. In you come. Yeah, you know what? You go over there. Going turbo. Standing by. And then finally, Deco, get into position. Roger. <clears throat> All right. One hammer's up first. Can go. F hang on. All right. Precision strike to the face. Let's do it. Target damage. Strike fire. Bring it down. We got a head hit. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so we'll move over here. Let 
Now, let's try it again with Ready for orders. Deco. I don't... Oh, he can. Okay. Affirmative. So even if we don't take his head clean off, if we can do an, uh, enough, get enough injuries to him and uh, enough stability damage to knock him over, that would be great. That is two head hits. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's see. Waiting for orders. Which doesn't have. Hmm. Can I get two in a direct line of fire? I can. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Now, let's see what a cold shot chance is. It's five percent. Do we go for it? Or do we go for a leg hit? I'll say I think we go for a leg hit. So let's do that. I hear you. Well, that's a shame. Um, all right, one chevron it is. Let's hope that AC-10 doesn't hit us in the face, because, uh, yeah, they do have an AC-10. Unsettled. Now yeah, that makes sense. Lowest evasion, he was going to go for okay, the rifleman. That was bad. That's fine, okay. Let's get it nice and close. Let's go for another head hit. Another injury. Excellent. Alright, let's Commander. take his leg off. Nah, damn. Don't have enough uh, resolve. Okay. Targeting for an alpha strike. But it worked out. <laughs> we, we persisted and we blew his head off. Well done. You managed to blow the Opvor's head off. How exciting. Mission successful. <clears throat> That's got to make you happy. Anyway. <laughs> So not much money, but uh, hopefully some good salvage options. Now we only have, uh, yeah, I was hoping we'd get at least two salvage here. Um, we could go for a complete champion. So it's a case of decisions, decisions, I think I'm what I'm going to go for. It's one grasshopper, two champion. And we're locked out. That was always a risk. Oh well. That was a rather fun mission, actually. Well, it's fun when, you know, you're the one dealing out death, so... Okay, so how long have we been going for? Eh, only half an hour. Alright. So yeah, definitely time for one more, but we want to go and check our Mac Warriors, of course. Because, uh, yeah, guts. We're going to work on a bit of guts. Training complete. Um, now, Lord Daki. Honestly, I think I'd rather just save up. Get call on Ben. It'll be much Commander? better for you. So, we've just got nothing yes, Commander. right now. Now, do we want the max sprint? Or do we want the health? Honestly, i got to say max sprint. As much as I do need the extra heat, I, um, 
plus 15 overheat threshold. Training confirmed, Commander. The max sprint's going to come in really handy, especially uh, for Decker, whose secondary ability is piloting. So, with all that said, let's uh, forward the timeline. We will finish off our hydroponics garden. Well, not quite, but we might forward it one day and let it finish off. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Excellent. All right, so ship upgrades. So we have the hydroponics garden that will uh, give us an option for an event later on. Uh, but for now, yes, I think more morale. Honestly, uh, 225,000. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's purchase. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. done. Right. Next mission, please. So we are going to do two missions here and then move on to the uh, story mission. So, we've got bounty hunting, which is a straight up battle, two and a half skull, just a good breakdown. It is an ambush convoy. Um, a lot of salvage opportunities, but even more here, and it pays more. So half skullless, yeah, but better pay, better salvage. That wins every time. So three or twelve should be okay, I think. And five hundred sixty-six thousand sea bills. Oh, five hundred sixty-six thousand four hundred. So I think we better take it. It'd be silly not to. And uh, let's jump into the mission. <clears throat> so Lord Daki is getting much better. And really, really quickly, I might add. It does help he's with the three other almost elite uh, mech warriors, but... Yeah, still a little upset. Uh, I'm probably more upset actually over losing Behemoth than I am uh, Medusa. Yeah, Medusa to me is always one of those characters which is always in the background. You know, you use him much later on. Uh, but yeah, Behemoth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, always a very uh, pretty good mech warrior, uh, especially from the outset. So, <clears throat> it is a shame. However, we'll soldier on. Alright, so... Straight up battle. So it should be fairly straightforward, but um, of course I have been wrong before. More than once. <laughs> yeah, so I, I do hope you're enjoying the series. Um, I'm enjoying making uh, the series and uh, telling the story, you know, as I do every time with, with every one of these Battletech series, telling, you know, the story of, uh, especially each individual commander, but uh, also with, you know, each mercenary outfit. We're going up against uh, Torian terrorists. Um, so, deadly attack on one of our facilities, so, yep, we're out for revenge. And Darius says, seems really straightforward, commander. Well, I'm not too worried about the extremely heavily armed. I'm sure it's nothing we haven't dealt with before. Well... Command interface I'm hoping that means rare weapons, at the very least. <laughs> I'll be on station keeping an eye on things, Com Un- Oh, hang on. This is Pirate Unknown Lance. This is Pirate Command. We are in pursuit of dangerous criminals. Arr! Leave the area, or you will be fired upon. Arr. What the? Darius, did we just get sold out? Let's assume good faith on the part of our employers, Maya. Attention, Pirate Lance. We are an MRB bonded mercenary company. We are under contract and cannot withdraw. No answer. Commander, they don't seem to be bluffing. 
Looks like we'll be fighting two battles at once. Okay, y'all. Stay frosty. Alright, so two battles at once, but... What does that mean? Does that mean they'll be going up against... You know what, let's take cover first. Will they be fighting each Becca. other? Because that would make things way. a little easier. Well, uh, 60 tons, 70 ton could be... I doubt it's a cataphract. Moving out. Hey boss, I got an unmarked dropship coming in fast and low. Wanna bet that's the other team? Let's let them move in if they dare. Oh, quick draw. Okay. Well, let's pummel them. Start with Titan. I think. That's a clear... Yeah, that's a much clearer shot. Let's take it. And focus fire. That's fine. That's uh, definitely fine. Alright. Um... Better gunnery. Always gonna be glitch. Let's do it. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Commander. It's a lot of stability damage. Waiting on you, Commander. But because he's guarded, it's probably not going to be enough. Actually, that other mech could be a Warhammer, but... Mm, likelihood's low, but not impossible. Roger that. Firing on target. There's the pirate body, bounty hunters, Commander. Still no response, so expect to be fired upon. Engage, but what you don't get caught between uh, them and the targets. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to go and take this guy on. Let this guy come around and get taken on by these enemies, hopefully. Now he may use jump. Mm. So this is a good bet. You know what? Let's reserve. Let's see what happens. Can we actually slow him down? I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna you. send Lord Daki around here. Pedal to the metal. That's a Warhammer, okay. You've got nothing! You hear me? He should probably be the next target. I think he should be the next target. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, if the quick draw moves, great, but yeah, he is guarded, so it's not fantastic. So, get him off the field as quick as possible. Look, eh, salvage would be nice, but let's get him, let's just... Get him off the field. So we will I hear ya. continue to move around. Coordinates received. Uh huh. Want some more? Huh? 
Ready for orders. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna sprint you over here. That's probably better. Yep. Roger that. Yes, that did hurt a bit, but you got nothing, you hear me? What's up, boss? What we are going to do. Beautiful. Roger. Target eliminated. Thanks, Deco. Love your work, mate. All right, move back around. Roger that. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that and move back. Fact. Yeah, move back over here. What can I do for you? Give this little decky's time to shine. Okay, bulwark and uh -huh. fire. Not quite good enough though. There's more where that came from. Going for the Warhammer, huh? Damage minimal. Alright, it's incoming. Got him in the back. Fantastic. And that looks like another Warhammer. Strange. What can I do for you? Gonna have to turn a few weapons off here. Yep. Uh, so, 83. No, I actually turn both those off. Time to die. When I shoot you, and he's out. That'll do. I'm a leaf on the wind, he says. All right, they're coming for us. Should um, yes, Commander. I'm gonna brace. Roger that. Digging in. Let's get our leader up in the front. Let's get the tanks up here. Yes, will be easy to hit. But we are running very, very hot right now. I hear ya. Resting my mech. Got it. Waiting on you, hmm. Commander. What the two LRM 15s do? No. Too much. It's too much. I've got to get one of them to attack. There we go. That's what we needed. Stinger. Nice try. And a fire starter. Guess who's going first? Then probably the Wolverine, actually. Good to go. Two 
terrible chances to hit. Yeah, I think the fire starters gotta go first. Hundred percent. Come on, Deco. Copy that. Solid connection on that one. Okay, Titan. Hmm. Let's move up. It's one of Asian Chevron. And you know what? I'm gonna go for the Wolverine. Actually, no. Damn it. I have to go uh, multi target. Actually, 30 might be a bit much, but just in case we don't get a CT hit, which we still might not. Engaging multiple targets. Lucked out there. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Okay, so they've... Uh... What can I do for you? It's interesting. They're preserved. All right. Got it. Okay, one hit, one miss. Still no luck. PCs are horrible. Uh, PPCs are horrible. PCs? <laughs> Good to go! <laughs> okay. Uh, quick glitch over there. Yes, you're much better with the LRMs uh -huh. on the Wolverine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Wolverine first. Mediumizers on you. Fire. Uh huh. And that is some beautiful shooting there from Glitch. Dang, you're dead. Okay, I think we're gonna have to do some melee here. Oh crap. Yep. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. All right. So who's running the hottest? You. Uh, let's see. you are. No, he's already acted. So we can we can leave you for the moment. Gonna have to leave the Warhammer. For now, at least. He is overheating, so that's. That's fortunate. Alright, let's take the arm off. Declawed him a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hit with one PPC. I'm showing minor damage. Okay, now Decker. Commander. Yeah, cool down, dude. Putting my weight into it. Inflicted some heavy damage. Alright, I think, um, he's... okay. Waiting 
on you, Commander. Yeah, Rifleman. Go for the Wolverine. Yep. Just do it. You betcha. Bang! You're dead. Which? Waiting for orders. Come in from this side. Don't need to tell me twice. Going toe to toe. Gotcha. That archer does some great melee damage. Where's he? Uh, oh, he's a gunner. Why is he? Um. Ow. <laughs> Losing armor. Oh, he's overheating, big time. Melee 65, that's... It's not really much of an option though. Engaging physical attack. It's a miss, damn it. <coughs> Did cause him a bit of grief there, one moment please folks. That's what old age does to you. Standing by. We should go all croaky. Um, yeah. Okay. And that side's not going to be great. Position confirmed. Hmm. Well, let's just turn one off. Um. No point going for a head hit then. Go for a leg hit. I got me. That hit something good. I hear ya. Right, so the rifleman's gonna have to go in. Good to go. For melee. Uh, so I'm gonna use glitch. You betcha. Try and knock him down. There we go. Yeah, critical hit. Well, Decky can come in. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, melee. Oh, your melee's even worse. Fifty-five. Going toe to toe. Stressed. Come on over here. Now, say we... Uh, <clears throat> we want to use the small lasers. We want to turn this one, uh, the SRM-6 off. And... Maybe even a large laser. Can we actually... No. That's fine. Try and take out his other leg. That'll do. Commander, I've been talking to our restoration rep. It seems to be a case of simple bad luck. Apparently the bad guys wiped out a pirate unit just a few days ago. We just happened to both arrive in the AO at the same time. Let's regroup back in orbit. Mission successful. Another challenging yet fun mission. Um, well... I mean, we didn't get any armor breaches, but say it was still challenging in that we, uh, be very careful. I mean, we were very close to getting an armor breach here, so. But we did use the train to our advantage. We, uh, went more for melee attacks, and we have lots of Warhammer parts. <laughs> So we've got a quick draw available to us, and we have our first medium laser plus plus. I'd be an idiot not to take that. They're rare as, uh, as we say in Australia, rare as rocking horse shit. Alright, you know what, we're going to go for a quick draw, because it, it's guaranteed. I know, I know, it's four Warhammer parts right there. 
Sue me. No, totally missed out on the Warhammer. But, we did get uh, the Firestarter. Fantastic. Almost makes up for it. So, uh, we're going to have some things to sell. Uh, so we've got some double ups uh, of mechs that we don't need. Well, one of them, I think we already had a fire starter. No, we don't want that. Quick draw. And uh, yeah, we may get a fire starter out later on at some point, but yeah, not right now. So, let's have a look at the store. Let's see what we've got in stock. So, two fire starters, two griffins. Yeah, we've uh, totally forgot to sell a few things, so. Let's go make some money. So, one of those. Keep the rest. And. Sell the wasp. Sell the wolverine. Hell yeah. And that gives us a good opportunity to. Uh, Change a few things over. So, I think. Well, we gotta put it on the Warhammer. Because we do wanna make that our beast. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go to the Mech Bay first. And do a refit. Um. Yeah, particularly with it being on this, uh, on the right and left torsos. I think this was the right option. So we'll confirm that. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Now, have a look at the barracks. We have, uh, not enough. Or Dacky. Waiting for orders. Not enough. I hear ya. Uh, same with Lich and Waiting for orders. same with Decker, but that's okay. So, uh, one last thing we've got to check. You got questions? I have answers. Our uh, conversations. So, let's just pretend I didn't ever you do that. Normally, Lord Madeira has something to say about the last yes. uh, story mission we did. <clears throat> Welcome back, Commander Stewart. Is there something the Restoration can do for you? I'd like to discuss the state of the war against the Directorate. In the eyes of the public, the war is going well. We've liberated a second founding house. All across the reach, people can feel the tide beginning to turn. That's good news for our recruitment efforts. Between you and me, we'll need those recruits. The Directorate made us pay dearly for our advance. And the strength of arms, their marshalling, and their core sy systems worries me. With luck, all of this bloodshed will come to justify itself. Inspired by our struggle, our ranks will swell with volunteers, who in turn will inspire more Regans to break ranks with the Directorate and join the fight. That's what I'm working with now. I hope that our war machine will grow to the point where it can feed itself. So, what does the liberation of House Corossus mean for the restoration? <clears throat> Excuse me. As before, there are logistical advantages to breaking the Directorate's hold over the swathes, swathes of the Reach. Over swaths, yeah, you, yeah. Anyway. Using systems like Smith and the staging areas, we can push deeper, closer to Coromedia and the throne, without risk of being cut off. In addition, House Garosis is renowned for the skill of its engineers and technologists. Bringing them to our side will provide great advantages in terms of keeping our dropship fleet in repair. Feed itself, huh? Sounds a little ominous when you put it like that. This is Civil War, Commander. In fighting the Directorate, we are killing our own people. There's nothing about this that isn't ominous. I wish it wasn't necessary for us to wage war at all, but sadly... As Benoza has made it so. Alright, Loma dear. That's enough of the operation for now. Of course, Commander Stewart. 
Alright. Be well, Commander. And I don't think there's anything... I mean... Let's check, yeah. <clears throat> See if there's any other Commander? any other options. No, there are not. I'll be here if you need anything. Sorry about that, folks. I'm really croaky today. Um, so next would be engineering. See if Pharaoh's got anything to say. Yeah, it's usually only uh, Lord Madeira, so. Don't be a stranger, Commander. But we do want to check. We want to keep up with the uh, with what everyone's opinions are. How can I be of service, Commander? Okay. On that. So that's it. Commander. So Lord Madeira has filled us in a little bit more of what's going on, and so in the next episode, we will be uh, starting the mission served cold. But before we do that, let's forward the timeline and uh, see if we got the uh, timeline that events is that may pop up. No. Alright, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed that episode, folks, and I hope you can join us for the next one. We will continue the story, and, uh, yeah, I hope uh, you might also consider subscribing if you're liking what you're, what you're viewing. And uh, remember that uh, every like left on the channel really helps me out, and I would greatly appreciate it. That is, of course, if you like it. If you dislike it, well, you know, can't make everyone happy. But, uh, yeah, this is Huey signing off for now. And as I always say, take it easy, everyone. And bye for now.